Hello, my yarny friends. I'm Sarah Satch, and welcome or welcome back to my crochet channel. Today's video is our June scrap happy pattern, and that means we take yarns from our yarn stash that we have leftovers of, and we make a fun project. And sometimes they're useful. This is a great project, it's fun and useful. This is our scrap happy snake. And if you know me, you know I am terrified of snakes, but I'm not afraid of this one. It's too cute. Check this out. It is really long. <laughs> it's so much fun to make. It's, it's super nice. cute with his cute little eyes and fun tongue. And then we're going to add a, a tail at the end. And I think you're really going to enjoy making this. It'll be fun to play with with the kids and the grandkids, as well as use it to keep the draft from coming in a window or under a door. In the summertime, we're trying to keep the cool air in and keep the heat out. In the winter, we're trying to keep the warm in and the cool out. So you can use it all year long. And when you don't need it, you can play around with the silly silly snake. Now you can find all the instructions and pictures on my blog and as always I'll put that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. Now you only need a few things to make our fun snake. You're going to need a bunch about six ounces or more of a bulky number five yarn and again Remember I talked about how I have those crazy balls that I make putting all the yarn together? And that's what this one is here with different colors in it. And you can see I've got solids and variegated that you can use. I did all solids on my snake just to make it easier for you to see. But if you can use any colors you have on hand. All right. You need to use a bulky number five yarn. About six or more ounces worth and it really depends on how long you want to make your snake all right we're going to be stitching with our j hook 6.0 millimeter crochet hook oh and i forgot to tell you you're going to need a small amount of red if you want to make the tongue red all right anyway like i said you need a j hook six millimeter crochet hook you're going to need a bunch of stuffing and again I'm just using polyester fiber feel that I have on hand, left over from other projects. And it's up to you how tightly you wanna stuff it. This one I stuffed pretty tight. And what we're going to be doing is stitching in the round, there won't be any joining. And we'll do about 10 or 12 rows and put the eyes in and stuff it. And then we'll do a few more rows, stuff it, a few more rows and stuff it because if you try to stuff it when you're done, you have a long ways to go to get that stuffing up there nice and tight. And doing it every 10 or 12 rows makes it just a little bit easier. All right, now the wiggly eyes that I purchased, these are safety eyes. It says it's a 0.59 inch or 15 millimeter, and you get 15 pieces. All right, and these are just solid black has a little bit of a brownish look on the ones that I put on here. It really just depends on what it's reflecting off of, but they're just black, okay? And I use two of those. Now, if you're going to be making this for a small child that you're afraid might pull these out, you can always just use a black yarn or even a red or whatever color that you wanna use and make French knot eyes with your bulky yarn. Those work just fine also. I just really like the idea of using the safety eyes. When you're stitching a tight single crochet like we're doing here, those eyes stay in nice and you don't have too much trouble with it. And so that's why I wanted to do that. But again, if you're gonna give this to a small child that might pull those out and choke on those, use French knots for eyes, okay? Alrighty, so then we're going to need a needle for weaving in our ends and a pair of scissors. I'll talk to you also about how we're joining in the colors uh, when we switch colors and things like that as well. Um, that'll help you at not having to make big knots and things like that. 
the way that I'm going to show you that I like to do. All right, so let's gather up all our yarns that we're going to use and let's make a silly snake that's not scary at all. <laughs> Another thing that you're going to need, I forgot to say in the materials, is you're going to need a stitch marker or something to mark your rounds because we're not joining, we're going to be stitching in the round. Okay, you can use a paper clip, a safety pin, um, just another color of yarn looped through, just some way to mark your rows so that you don't get off on your rows. All right, so we're going to begin with this gray. I'm using this for my demo. There's my slip knot, and we're going to chain two chains, one and two. Now we're going to stitch eight single crochets in the second chain from the hook. So we'll go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through both loops. So there's one, two, three, four, five, move that tail out of the way, six, I was trying to get in the way again, seven, and eight. There we go. Now I'm going to take my stitch marker and I'm going to mark my last stitch. Okay, I'm going to pull my loop a little bit because I want you to see on the back we're going to turn it over and we're going to go ahead and close up this hole. And it's important to do this first because it's going to be difficult to do it at the end because it'll hard to be hard to get your hand up inside. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and close up that hole that we made. Now, if you prefer to do the magic circle for your beginning, you certainly can. Alrighty, so I'm going to close that up so we don't have a hole because we're starting at the head of our snake. Alright, I'm just going to let that hang. I'm not going to worry about cutting it off. It'll be inside my snake. Alright, so for round one, we chain two and then stitch eight single crochets in the second chain from the hook and then we went ahead and closed up that hole in the center of our circle. Now for round two we're not going to join we're going to go right to that first single crochet and stitch two single crochets. One, <clears throat> two. <laughs> Then we'll stitch two in each of the next ones. So there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Whoops. 13, 14. Now we'll take out that last or that stitch marker and stitch in our last stitch. 15 and 16 single crochets. Then we'll replace our stitch marker to mark our last stitch. And you may think you won't need it here, but it's real important to make sure you keep your stitch count right or your snake will end up not correct when we get to doing the long portion of it. All right, so for round two, we have 16 single crochets and we marked our last stitch with our stitch marker. All right, let's do round three. So what we're going to do in the first single crochet is stitch two, one and two. Then in the next single crochet, we're just going to stitch one. So that makes three. Two in the next, four, five, and one in the next, six. And we'll repeat this around. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 
17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. We'll take our stitch marker out and the last stitch is 24 single crochets. And then we'll put our stitch marker back in. Now, you'll notice that I am stitching quite tightly and we want it to be stitched tight so that we don't have all those spaces when we go to stitch, or I mean to stuff our snake. All right, so for round three, we have 24 single crochets and we marked our last stitch with our stitch marker. So we finished row three, we have 24 single crochets We've marked our last stitch with our stitch marker. And now what we're going to do for row four is just stitch one single crochet in each of those 24 single crochets. We're not going to be doing any more increasing. Now it's time to start forming the head of our snake. One single crochet in each of the single crochets around till we get back to our stitch marker. So now what we're going to do is we're going to repeat row four for six more rows and that's going to get us up to row 10. All right, so for the next six rows, we're just going to repeat row four. One single crochet in each of the single crochets around and then move our stitch marker up each row in the last stitch. I stitched those additional six rows, one single crochet and each around, moving my stitch marker each row. So I have 10 rows at this point. Now I wanted to stop here because I wanted to show you how to change colors. You can change colors anywhere in the row. You don't have to be at the beginning. I'm just going to show you because that's where I'm at. All right, so I'm going to take out my single crochet. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that stitch marker in there because that's my last stitch on this row. All right, so I'm going to go in and pull up a loop. And then I'm going to grab my new color and finish that single crochet. All right, and then we'll just snug everything down back here and I'll continue stitching my rows where I'm at. And now I'm going to stitch 10 more rows, which will get us up to 20. And I'm going to show you how to stuff the head and add the safety eyes, okay? So I'm going to stitch 10 more rows of just one single crochet in each of the single crochets around. And again, changing colors is up to you. When your yarn stops and you want to bring in a new color, you can do it anywhere on the row. Because remember, this is a scrap happy project. I stitched those 10 additional rows, so I have 20 rows. And another thing I wanted to say about when you change colors, because you can see I had to change again. When I join, I try to stitch over it a little bit and then I just tie a little knot on the inside and just let that stay in there because that's going to be on the inside and it's also going to stay secure. I know there's no knots in crochet, but sometimes I find that it works great to stitch over the tail of yarn a little bit and then tie a little knot on the inside, especially something that's going to be played with like I know this silly snake is going to be. All right, now what I want to show you next is eye placement and stuffing it a little bit. <clears throat> now I have these safety eyes here. And the placement of the eyes is totally up to you. Okay, I'm going to turn it over this way. And I'm going to count up 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, so I'm going to put my safety eye in right on the line between those two. It doesn't matter where you're at color-wise. 
And then we're just going to take that safety eye backing and put that on nice and secure till you hear it snap. Okay? And that's in there nice and secure. And I like putting it on the line because it helps it, you know, stay a little bit um, straighter. And it's up to you how close together you want to put your eyes. Okay, again, we're going to put that back on and snap it on. All right, so now my eyes are on. And so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and stuff the head of my snake. And the reason I do that, I do it about every 20 rows because it's really difficult if you stitch the whole snake or even half of it and try to stuff it, all right? And I like to put a lot of stuffing in this particular project. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I like them to be a little bit more squishy, but I want this one to hold its shape. Okay, and so I'm going to push it down in there, put a little bit more, and then I can continue on doing my rows. And then as I stitch 20 or even 30 more rows, st stuffing as I go. Okay, and so this is how it should look at about row 20 with the eyes attached. All right. And I do want to remind you that if you're going to be giving this or letting a child that's small enough that they might be able to yank those eyes out and put them in their mouth, it can be unsafe and they can choke on those. So what you can do is use some black yarn or another color and just make some French knots for the eyes. All right, because we want to make sure this is safe to play with. Now what you're going to do is you're going to continue to stitch one single crochet in each of the stitches around and I put on the pattern for a hundred rows and if you'll notice this is 20 okay so let's see how many rows that would get us so this is about six inches all right so if you do a hundred rows at six inches that's going to be a really long snake okay but you can do it as long as you want or as short as you want depending on how much yarn you have. Something that I do is I start one, <laughs> and then as I use chunky yarns, I add to it. And so you never know what colors my snakes are going to be. <laughs> so continue to stitch, stuff every 20 to 30 rows as you go for as long as you want your snake to be. And then I'll show you how to add that tongue and the tail of our snake. So here's my original Scrap Happy Snake that I'm working on. There's his eyes. I've already added the tongue to this one, but I'll show you on the demo how to add the tongue when we're done doing the tail. So let me get him out of the way here, and I'm going to show you on this one how to make our tail. Now I've made it as long as I would like. I did a whole bunch of this stitching watching TV, and I've got a lot of different colors in here, some variegateds and all different shades of colors in my chunky number five yarn. All right, so I've stuffed it all the way up to here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that stitch marker because I want to add in a new color. So I'm gonna pull that out. Let me move my snake around where I can get to it. There we go. So here's my last stitch, and I'm going to bring in some more cream color here that I found. And we're going to do a little bit of decrease stitching. So let me bring that camera in a little bit closer. Now I'm calling this row 101, but if you made yours a whole lot longer, of course, it's going to be a different row count. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to stitch the first two single crochets together. All right, so we'll go in the first one, pull up a loop, go in the next one, pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through all three. Then we'll stitch one single crochet in the next two. One and two. And then we'll repeat this working around the bottom of our snake. Single crochet the first two together, or the next two together, and then one single crochet in the next two working all the way around the bottom of our snake because we're going to decrease down in order to make a tail 
on our snake. All right, so we'll just repeat this around. Stitch two together, one in each of the next two. Two together, one in each of the next two. I repeated that around. Stitch the next two together, one in each of the next two, all the way around. You're going to have 18 single crochet stitches. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to stitch one single crochet in each of those 18 stitches around. One single crochet in each of those 18 stitches around. I moved my stitch marker. And now what we're going to do is we're going to repeat this for two more rows. So we'll have two more rows of just one single crochet in each of those 18 single crochet stitches for two more rows. So we completed those next two rows of just one single crochet in each around. Make sure you move that stitch marker now. All right, the next row here is row 105, and we're going to again stitch the first two together, and then stitch one single crochet in the next. Then we'll stitch the next two together, and stitch one single crochet in the next, and repeat this. <laughs> My snake doesn't want to turn there. All right. We're going to repeat this working all the way around this row. So I completed that row, stitching two single crochets together, one in the next. So I have 12 single crochets. But before I go any farther, I want to go ahead and stuff as far down as I can just to make sure I'm stuffing it and not going too far without, you know, getting the stuffing in there. All right, so now what we're going to do for the next three rows is again, we're going to just stitch one single crochet in each of those 12 single crochets. So we're slowly tapering down the end of our snake so he has a tapered off tail, all right? So we'll stitch three rows of just one single crochet in each of those single crochets around for three more rows. All right, so I repeated those three rows, and now we're gonna do some more decreases to get this down to a point. I did add a little more stuffing in there, so it's stuffed as I go, and I don't have to work in there to get stuffing in it, all right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet the next two together. Then we'll single crochet the next two together. We'll single crochet the next two together. That's three. Four. Get this thing turned around here. five, and the last two, get this turned around. Move that stitch marker out. All right, so now because we did six single crochets together, we have six stitches, and now we're going to stitch one single crochet in each of those six, so one, Two, this snake doesn't want to spin around for me. <laughs> Three, four, five, and six. All right, so you can see our the tail of our snake is coming down to a point. All right, <clears throat> now we're going to do We've got six stitches, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to stitch the first two together, the next two, one and two, and then the last two together, one and two. So we did three single crochets together. All right. Now we're going to cut our yarn and we're going to tie that off. And we'll use our needle to close that up. So make sure when you're down here where I added that extra stuffing that you added enough stuffing that you can work it up into the tail. All right, so now I'm going to use my needle and make sure that's closed up nice and securely. Now, the last thing we need to add is the tongue, and I'm just using this red yarn this is a medium number four yarn. You can use a chunky yarn if you want. It doesn't matter, okay? So what we're gonna do is make the tongue. We wanna leave a little bit of yarn to attach it to the snake. So we'll start our slip knot up here a little bit, and we're going to chain 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, now we're going to slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and then slip stitch there we go in the next two one two now we're going to chain four one two three four slip stitch in the second and then the next two And that makes the little forked portion of our tongue. Now we'll go right in that next single crochet, or that next chain, I'm sorry, right in the next chain, and then just slip stitch down the tongue. If you want your tongue a little shorter, you can do the chain shorter. All right, so now I'm gonna grab my scissors. I'm going to cut this a little bit long so I have some string to attach it to my snake and I'll tie this off. Okay, so that's our forked tongue. And we'll just take our needle, take one side, we'll go in and across. Okay, I do that first, then I'll take the other side and I'll go across where I came from. And that's gonna help us center that tongue. Pull it in a little bit. <laughs> that's hilarious. All right, and then I'll go in right here because I want it to be attached. And then I'll swirl it around in some of that batting and I'll come out the back. All right, and then we'll do the same thing with this one. All right. We'll go right in there, swirl it in that batting a little bit, and try to come up close to where we put that other one up. And then I'll take these two and tie a knot. Put that real close and then hide that in that stuffing. And now our snake has a cute forked tongue. <laughs> so here's my snake. <laughs> He's so cute. He's so cute. And it's a wonderful way to use up your scrap yarn and make a silly snake. And I know that my grandkids are gonna get lots of use out of this because they know that I hate snakes. <laughs> And they'll probably try to scare me with it all the time. <laughs> so isn't that cute? I just love it. So cute.